Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. Now you may have seen the video where I removed the gigantic loom reticulata from my raised bed because it was just too big for the location and out of control and flowering we're not producing fruits anyway um, but I, I am going to obviously try and save it so what I'm going to do is reuse um, some compost I had some plants that died from the cold uh, namely tamarillos and I haven't emptied the pots yet and as I'm not too bothered whether this survives or not I thought I'd simply repurpose the compost now I've chosen to put it into uh, one of these fibr fibrous uh, root pots whatever they call them the fabric pot company these ones for this is a 95 litre uh, pot which I suppose is about uh, probably about 20 gallons I would say so um, I'm gonna it, it looks like it'll go into there so basically I'm just gonna empty the compost out of that container um, I'll remove any big weeds which I've done but they'll be at the bottom anyway so they shouldn't cause too much of a problem and then I'll transfer the luma into there and leave it in a shelf position give it a good watering and then we'll see if it survives or not it's also given me the opportunity to straighten it up because the plant was growing at a 45 degree angle in the ground which is ridiculous so um, it will make a nice ornamental and I might eventually transfer it to my parents if it survives so um, I'll flip the camera around and we'll just have a look at how the process goes it won't be easy to film because they're, um, it's a bulky plant and a bulky pot so it's not going to be simple but I'll see what I can do Right, I'll move the camera back to give you a better view, but of course you might not be able to hear me properly, so we'll see how we go. That's if I need to talk. <clears throat> now one thing about these fabric pots, which is a slight nuisance, is they have a tendency to fold in on themselves until you actually get some compost into them. <clears throat> They're not easy to easy to get in one piece. Now the one advantage of this compost that I had in the Tamarillos is it was a very light compost with a lot of perlite in it so it does at least make the pots a little bit lighter to handle it. <coughs> it's almost a two person job because you need someone to hold the fabric bags while uh, while you're trying to transfer the compost. But I'm going to use this one here first because it's a nice small pot. <clears throat> As I said, the plant didn't die from disease, it died from cold, so it's not really going to be too much of a problem. The compost seems to be very good, but I'm not going to amend it. Let's just lift this and see if it will go in. I hope it will. hardest problem with these as I said is the edges of the pots <coughs> tend to fold in on you while you're trying to uh, get the plant in place. <coughs> that looks like quite a decent, uh, that's not a bad fit actually. Yeah, but it, it is a two person job but I should be able to manage this. And the fabric pots, of course, don't sit very straight on the ground, which doesn't help matters. Uh, come round this side, see if I can lift the pot up and get some of the compost in. Uh, as advantage, it gives me another one of these pots back again to use. <clears throat> Some of the original root ball at the bottom, but that's fine, that won't cause any problems, that'll just rock down and feed the plant actually. So that's nice and uh, loose. 
I said, the one advantage of these fabric pots, well, several advantages, they're light, they'll allow the roots to breathe, and they have nice handles on them, so you can hopefully give them a tug. We'll see if that works in a minute. Now, this has suffered a lot of shock, this Luma, so I will give it a good watering. I mean, although it's wet and cold, the weather, and it's definitely going to benefit it to... Uh, have some water at the moment I've got it about the same level it was in the ground um, the pot's not full so I'm probably going to just give it a shake and lift it up a little bit to so like it a little bit nearer to the top of the pot it won't need support in here because now it's been cut short Now it's been cut shorter, it should strain itself up anyway and support itself. Using compost from another pot. That now gives me gives me at least two pots back, because obviously being 95 litres, I think these ones were only about 30 something litres, so pot have plants die you do at least have the advantage of getting uh, your pots back so I'm quite happy I think that's um, that's about as much compost as I need in there I'm gonna have to struggle to drag it now because again I'm only working on my own so I haven't got anybody to help me but once the compost's in if you push it down the sides like that firm it a bit down the sides um, obviously the roots will be air pruned as they try and grow to the edges of the pot but that that gives you a nice shape that gives you a nice shape to the size of the pot once you push the compost down and then it should hold its shape quite well now the problem I've got now is obviously I've got both the weight of the plant and the waste <laughs> weight of 95 litres of compost so let's see if I can manage to drag it or not over to the position I want to have it in, which is over here. Let's have a look. Just about. <coughs> Get the other things out of the way. Problem I've got here is too much clutter, nowhere to put anything. Well, one thing's for sure, no one's going to be stealing that pot, that plant off me in any hurry. It's a two-person job to lift that into a van. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope that was of some use to you. Thumbs up, please. Share the video if you think anybody wants to see it. Subscribe to my channel and, of course, click on the bell if you'd like updates on new videos as they come out. I'll see you all soon. Brett out for now.